the state's consumer is now becoming more aware of the health and welfare of the bird and that I think is driving a thrust to move from the traditional colony cage production and into a more free range pasture raised and indeed perhaps organic production systems. Clearly that's going to take quite a time. There's a huge amount of investment given the scale of egg production across in the States. Um, but what we do see uh, is, well in fact some UK based uh, system manufacturers coming across into the States and, and growing their portfolio over here as well. So there obviously is an appetite for, for that move, but it is going to take quite a period of time to do that. There's an education piece for sure for the, for the producers of the egg. That's a, a complete mindset change from the quite controlled and enclosed colony cage systems or cage systems through to free range. It's a different type of stockmanship. Um, there are clearly more challenges, uh, challenges in terms of viral load and disease, etc. when you expose the birds to the outside environment. So around all of that, I think there's a huge education piece for for egg agriculture, if you like, in the United States, but also for the consumer. And I think the key messages are, are those for the consumer because ultimately we drive to consumer wants and needs. So that's a huge education piece, but I definitely think that the US consumer is becoming much more aware of health and welfare and sourcing of food where their food comes from. And they're beginning to become far more aware about caring around that. I think also as well, um, there's probably a, a, a move around the sustainability piece. So, you know, caring for the environment, realizing the impact of the products that you're buying and how that's produced. So certainly there's a, there's a direction of travel um, that's been followed. I think much like across in the UK, that will gather momentum. So the more it grows, the, the faster it grows and the, and the thrust will come. So yeah, that's, that's kind of summary of where I would see it. And how, what do you think about how these concepts will impact into the offer globally? Well, I think we, we, we see, don't we, from, from you know, what we've heard around, around the conference and the keynote speakers, etc. You know, there is a, there is a global thrust. Uh, there, is, there is a responsibility for agriculture and agriculture really is the, almost, the, almost the key stakeholders in being able to, in, in being able to change this, this direction of travel around the, um, around the environment. So I think slowly but surely, I mean it's difficult for me to comment on all of the global markets for, for egg, but slowly but surely there will, be this, there will be this drive to consider the environment and to consider your sustainability credentials in how you produce any, any food type, but, but specifically for us in egg. And I think again, no matter, no matter where you are, you are well, even even as primary producer of that of that product. So if you're the primary producer, if you're the if you're the the packer, the grader, <clears throat> whatever you may be within that supply chain, ultimately you will be driven by consumer wants and needs and satisfying that you know that that market. Um, and I think that as we become globally more aware of the impact that we are potentially having on the environment, the changes that we could therefore make to have a more positive impact on the environment, you will see sustainability come into supply chains in, in every country across the globe. Now, clearly, the issues there are the different countries will have different levels of ability to, to react to that quickly. And I think they will look to countries who are further advanced down that, down that journey, um, you know, to, to get their education from into, into how that can be done. The consumers actually demand traceability. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Traceability, I think, is is more and more. I think you've you've got certainly again, and I'll talk about the UK as as a reference. There are there are different brackets of consumer, if you like, and there will always be those consumers who who are always going to shop for a value egg, and that's you know it's, it's simple economics for them. But more and more consumers are becoming very very conscious about where that egg comes from. So they want that traceability. They want to know, um, not down to the levels of detail that we would understand within the industry, but they do want to know and be comfortable with the fact that they're buying an egg that, that is, is produced ethically, is produced with sustainability in mind, that has some, some green credentials and it gives them um, it gives them an almost feel good factor about what they're buying and they then feel, they then feel part of 
um, you know, the solutions that we're trying to bring to, to you know, how we sustainably produce egg. How, how do you think the, the producers, uh, the egg producers, must shown, uh, show in, in, the, in the package, uh, in, in the, at, uh, through, through his brands, uh, the qualities of the, of the, the egg production? Oh, that's a good question. They, they, therein lies the difficulty in how you get the message in across to the consumer. So I think because we're all involved in the industry, it's very difficult. We know we know the finite granular detail of the, the changes that we've made, whether that might be through um, the stocking density of the birds, you know, within the system, within the housing system, um, or perhaps how they're fed in, you know, in, in detail. Those kind of messages simply won't transfer across to the consumer. So you've got to be able to, to give a simple message that the consumer can understand. But my key thing on that is that behind that very simple message, you have to have the detail. It needs to be done properly. So it can't be um, it can't be just a message for show. It's got to be a message that behind it has has some weight behind it and has some science behind it, etc. And is actually materially making a making a difference. But the messages need to be need to be simple because the consumer only understands a very a very broad overview of what egg production looks like. Um, certainly consumers in the UK, as a for instance, would never imagine, the majority of the consumers that is, would never imagine that laying hens would be kept on the scale that we, that we keep laying hens. So it's very difficult for that consumer going into a retail outlet and buying their, um, you know, their six eggs or their 12 eggs to imagine that in the UK, as a for instance, we have 38 million laying hens in the, in the national flock. So those messages need to be need to be simple, need to be easy to understand, but still need to, to get those clear sort of sustainability credentials across. Thank you very much. Thank you.